Welcome back to the third and final section of advanced word processing. In this part, we are going to talk about editing and formatting text. We are also going to touch on reading mode, as well as selection and formatting. And so when to do any formatting and specific like edit commands, you will likely need to select text. So this will be an important section to not only listen to, but take your time and to practice. Um, be sure that you are in a Word document with text in it if you want to practice along with this video. All right, welcome to session three of Advanced Word Processing for the Braille Note Touch Plus. Before we start this section, I want to let you all know and remind you, if you already know this, that you cannot undo on the touch. So that means if you make an editing error and if you delete a sentence by mistake, you cannot do as you would on a computer, which would be a control Z and undo that action. So because of this, um, it's important to um, utilize the feature called reading mode, which this allows you to read your document without making any like unintended changes to it. So to get into reading mode and to get out of it, it's just a simple space X. Reading mode. And so now I'm in reading mode and I can read my document and I don't have to worry about bumping any buttons or making any um, cha unwanted changes by mistake. To get out of reading mode and back into editing mode, I do another space X again. Editing mode. And that's it. Super easy. So go ahead and uh, give reading mode a try in your word or in your um, keyword document. All right. The next thing we are going to talk about um, in the section so is about selecting and then we're going to do some, uh, I'm going to share some information about formatting text. So we, before we talk about the different commands that you can do to format text, we need to talk about selecting text. So before you do any commands, you need to ensure that the text that you want the command to happen to is selected. So for example, maybe you have a sentence and you don't like the placement of it, and instead of deleting it and rewriting the sentence, you just want to cut and paste it into a different part of your document. Before you can go ahead and do the cut command, you will need to select that sentence. So we're just going to start out slow here with selecting, and we're just going to select a word. When you want to select text, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to place your cursor where you want to start selecting. So in here, I'm going to move my cursor to the first letter of did. And it's important to know that the cursor needs to be on, on the letter that you want the selection to start. So um, it not to the left of it, but directly um, on that first letter. So I'm going to want to have my cursor to be on the first D and did. Then I'm going to do an S plus enter. Selection start. Then I'm going to move my cursor and right now it's blinking. And if you don't remember, your cursor is dot seven and eight. And using my cursor router button again, I'm going to press the last D and did. D. Because that's where I want my selection to end. And again, it's blinking. Now I'm going to go ahead and do another Enter plus S. Did. Selected. Selection end. And right now, under the word did, I feel dot seven and eight under D, I, D. So I know that the whole word has been selected. So now I can go ahead and I can apply any command that I would like to that word. Once you have applied your command, you can go ahead and just hit a cursor router button selection cleared and your selection is cleared and you can go back to editing so this would be a great time for you to take a minute or two or as long as you need and practice selecting text when you're ready come back and i will share 
some of the um, commands that you can use for selecting text, or it, you can use for formatting text. Some frequently used key commands for um, editing and manipulating text uh, include, um, I'm gonna share about 12 maybe. Um, and what I will do is I'm going to say a little bit about the command and then the keystrokes to do so. And after each slide, I will give you a chance to pause and to practice the command. Select all allows you to select all of the text in your document. You may do this by pressing enter plus dots one, two, three, four, five, six, or also known as enter plus a full braille cell. So to cut something is to cut a word or a sentence or a paragraph. And basically what it does is whatever area of text you've selected, it will cut it out and completely take it out of where you've cut it from so you can paste it in another location. To perform the cut command, you will press backspace plus X. To copy, so copy is similar to cut, except the text that you've selected and then copied will also stay in place in your document. So you're literally just making a copy of whatever you select and so you can put it somewhere else. The command for copy is backspace plus Y. Finally, we have paste, which is when you paste your selected text into your new desired location. This command is backspace plus V. And finally, I want to note, um, you will know that you did these correctly because the touch will announce that the text has been pasted or cut or copied. So take a minute and try these out. Next up, uh, the next set of commands that I'm going to share with you have to do with moving your text around. So tab is going to indent your paragraph and that you can do that with a backspace plus T. To align left is going to align your text to the left. You may do that with a backspace plus L. To align right is going to move your text um, to the right and that is enter plus R. To align your text to the center is enter plus C. And to align your text and to justify it is enter plus J. So go ahead and take a moment to practice. Finally, if you want to bold your text, you can do an enter plus B. If you want to italicize your text, enter plus I. And if you want to underline your text, you will do an enter plus U. Please note that bolding, italicizing, and underlining um, are typically, they are going to change the look of your text and do not impact the meaning. And then finally, if you want to get formatting details, go ahead and do a space plus dots three and five. Thanks for watching.